Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have discussed enough about how the backstack works and how the backstack count changes. In this video, it is now time to move further and talk about something else. For that, we need to change our current demo that we have been going through and come up with a new demo. This is a new demo that I have created. In this particular demo, basically you have one fragment which has list of countries and on click of any of the country, you navigate we get to uh, another fragment where I show any description about that particular country. So it is pretty straightforward. There are two fragments and we are navigating from one fragment to another fragment. So it is important for us to understand how to get started with implementing this kind of functionality. Before I get started with actual functionality, I want to talk about some of the important basics while implementing fragments. Let us get started with some of the basic conventions that I typically follow which if followed would be very good for any Android developer. The first thing I suggest is stick to the Android activity naming convention. If you observe you have main activity. So the first part is what the activity is all about and then what component type it is. It is an activity. So idea is let the use case for which the fragment is meant for be the first word and then you append the fragment keyword as the second word in front of that use case. So so it would be like countries fragment containing the list of countries and country description fragment containing the description about a particular country. In terms of naming the class, you just follow the standard Java camel case convention. Now, when it comes to the convention of creating the layout files for the fragments, I suggest that you once again stick to the Android activity layout naming convention, which is typically activity underscore followed by use case for which that particular activity is. You use the fragment to be the first keyword of the layout file and then append the use case for which the layout file is meant for to that particular first fragment keyword. So it would be fragment underscore countries and fragment underscore country description. So countries fragment layout file would be fragment underscore countries and country description fragment layout file would be fragment underscore country underscore description. And as you have been observing, the layout files should have always small letters. This is the convention that I follow. And then if there are multiple words in that particular layout file then use the underscore for separating different words in the layout file names. So having understood some of the best practices while implementing a fragment it is now time to explore fragment implementation further. So you have basically one fragment which is countries fragment and you have another fragment which is country description fragment. Some of the questions that will pop up in your mind while talking about this particular use case is in which lifecycle method should I initialize the UI widgets? The UI widgets in this case might be a list view in the countries fragment and probably a text view in the country description fragment. The next question is how do I trigger country description fragment from the countries fragment? From the look of it, you basically have a on item click listener for the list view and that should trigger next navigation. Now the question is who should do that? Whether the fragment should trigger another fragment or the fragment should delegate this task to an activity and let the activity do the triggering part of the country description fragment. And most importantly, how am I changing the titles as per the fragments that are getting rendered? So we will be exploring how to implement these aspects when working with the fragment. So let us get into a quick demo. If you observe here, this is the countries fragment and this is the fragment underscore countries layout file. It is a simple list view and what I have done here is in the values there is a strings.xml and here I have created an array of countries and for each country I have created a description. This is just the content that I found on Wikipedia. I have just pasted it. Nothing more to that. And now going back to the countries fragment if you observe the first difference that you will notice is I could have directly returned this here but instead of that what I have done is I have caught hold of the view that I inflated in a root view which is an instance variable of the fragment and then I return 
that particular root view now the question is why i have done this because i would need this particular root view to initialize the various other widgets that i might be having in that particular view and in this case it is the least view that i want to initialize so if you go back here between root view initialization and returning the root view from the on create view method i have invoked another private method which is a user defined method called as init ui and in the init ui you can see that these are the sum of the instance variables that i am initializing here so i am initializing the context i am initializing the countries and i am initializing list view and then i am initializing the adapter i am setting the adapter to the list view and that's it don't worry about what i have done here inside this because we will be discussing it later and to set the title in on resume method i have caught hold of action bar that is get activity will return me the activity i have typecast into a app compact activity because i want to invoke get support action bar which returns me action bar that i want to deal with and then there is a method called as a set title and there i am basically setting title and that title is nothing but fragments demo which is name of the app and then followed by a arrow sign and then select country some of you might be wondering can i initialize the list views inside the on create i suggest that you don't do this because it will actually crash application because if you remember the life cycle methods of fragment on create method actually gets invoked before the on create view so you are basically trying to initialize list view countries or any widgets that are there in the fragment even before you are creating the view so this won't work out if you go back to another fragment that we have implemented which is country description fragment we have simple text view and then i have just once again used the same mechanism that is i have created view and then init ui is the method that gets invoked to initialize ui widgets that are there in the fragment and in the on resume method i am basically using set title to set country name that gets selected here is the tricky part how does the fragment one which is a country's fragment let's know which particular country was selected so that the second fragment can display the appropriate description about the selected country for that we will use a very important concept of callbacks and we shall explore this in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye